Now to a GMA parenting alert on kids and their emotional connection to social media. We see parents taking pictures of their kids all the time, but what happens when mom and dad don't post them? Kids notice, and many aren't happy about it. Paula Ferris is back with us, and you spoke to a mom who's seeing that in her little five-year-old. Yeah, she is, and there's so much of her story in all of us as well. Uh, we're in this moment where we're teaching our kids that you know, if we don't document it, the next generation, if we don't take photos, if we don't take videos, and then post it, Lara, it doesn't happen, right? But kids are seeing this addiction, and let's call it what it is, it's an addiction. They're seeing it front and center, and they're now picking up our unhealthy habits. This morning, celebrity mom Jenny Mullen is asking all moms to put their phones away. She has two boys with actor Jason Biggs and shares a lot of her life on Instagram and says she recently had a social media aha moment with her five-year-old son, Sid. We were walking home from the grocery store and he stopped me and I said, you know, why are you so cute? And of course he looks at me, he's like, you can take a picture of me if you want. And I said, no, I, I don't want to take a picture of you. I just want to like see you. I want to just have this moment with you. And there was this sort of wounded look in his eyes as if, you know, what I said was, I don't know, somehow, he, you know, he was a contestant on The Bachelorette and I wasn't giving him the final rose. Mullen's article titled Picks or It Didn't Happen in the October issue of Parents Magazine asks parents in this digital age to hold back sometimes. Not every moment is made for pictures. Picks or it didn't happen. Are they yeah. learning that from us? Yes, I think they are. That's a tough pill to swallow. It's a hard pill to swallow. Why were you compelled to write this piece? I don't want my child to feel like I, what, I didn't see him. I don't want him to ever feel like he's not being heard. But I see it on Instagram all the time. I'm seeing moms showing me, look at how good I'm parenting. Look at my kids. You know, we did this to get today. First day of school, there's like a million placards saying, you know, so-and-so's mm. off to school. We all do it. Since posting the article, lots of moms have been weighing in. And while doing this interview, I realized I, too, am very guilty capturing every moment rather than just living in the moment with my kids. You write in the piece, you say it's an addiction that we make few attempts to hide from our children. You really think it's an addiction? I fully believe that it's an addiction, yes. I think it's just like, you know, a cigarette. So how, what do we do about this? I think we have to put the phone down, take a breath, look up. Great advice there. Be in the moment. Ask yourself, what am I really getting from this photo that I wouldn't get by simply being in the moment, by being present? And Larry, we should always ask our kids if it's okay to post these images and videos of them because these images are going to live on forever. Really, yeah. Huge digital imprint there for our children. The answer from with my kids, always no. All right, always thank no. you. Uh, parenting expert Erica Suter, editor of mom.com is with us. And why is it so important for kids to have these pictures posted? And I, and I want to point out, we're talking younger kids. Younger kids. We're talking like four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. You know, and they're growing up in a culture where everything is posted. I think about my youngest son. His first selfie was posted an hour after I gave birth. <laughs> and it's everyone's doing it because we want to share those pictures with the world but what it's giving our kids is a skewed perception mm -hmm. of reality like he doesn't know that I put on blush and mascara and I have this beautiful photo yeah. and that he's not understanding that there are lots of filters that these pictures go through and the world isn't picture perfect it's messy and our kids need to know that so they feel comfortable when their life isn't so picture perfect and what are the risks here well, you know, I noticed that they don't have any sense of privacy. There's no boundaries right. of what they'll share on all of these social media platforms. And, you know, they're also obsessed with their posts getting likes. They really want people to like and respond to their photos, even at a young age. They're like, well, mom, how many likes did I get? And right. sometimes for, for a lot of right. kids, that's, that's not, tied. That's not, that's not how you judge that's not how, how you're doing in life. Exactly. And they're tying it to their self-esteem, which is very bad. And we don't, we want them to feel good about themselves and their accomplishments for other things, not these photos. Right. This is really good. Okay. Really quick if they mm -hmm. if they feel slighted because you don't want to post meanwhile you're you're actually trying to protect them, but if they feel slighted, what do you say? What do you do? I mean, I love what Mullen said. Teach them to look up. There's a mom at my son's school who never takes pictures, never takes video, and I started doing that. And I noticed that when my son's playing or performing, he's looking at me, and he's looking for that moment of encouragement, and he loves that, and it's teaching him to be in the moment. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here, so go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.